Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Product Carousel widget for Magento 2. This extension basically allows you to display your products in a very elegant carousel style. You just need to enter the product IDs that are separated by a comma and each of the products are linkable to a separate product. You will also be able to uh, use this extension on multiple places within the same page and uh, um, so let's go ahead and let's see how this uh, extension works uh, and before that uh, let's see what the different uh, configuration settings are there for this extension in the admin backend so uh, for that uh, let's go to the admin backend section now uh, after the admin has uh, logged into the admin panel the admin uh, would have to uh, navigate to content and under content the admin will navigate to pages now here the admin can use uh, a new page or he can add a new page in the first place and after that he can add a product carousel widget to it or else the admin can also use a already created page and he can add this product carousel to that created page page as well so let's get an let's see uh, how this um, product carousel works and uh, for this uh, example uh, we have already created uh, uh, different pages and uh, we have already added uh, the product carousel widget to it so we'll just be going through uh, what exactly is to be done uh, in the admin backend so that uh, the uh, uh, the uh, so that the uh, product carousel widget uh, gets uh, displayed at the front end so for that uh, we'll uh, go ahead and we'll select uh, uh, the page first so we already uh, added uh, a page with the name product carousel widget uh, and uh, you can see uh, that uh, the page uh, is enabled so we'll just go ahead and we uh, edit the page uh, first and uh, after editing the page what needs to be done is that uh, you need to set the page title first then you need to set the content heading after you set the content heading uh, this heading would be displayed just uh, above the uh, product carousel uh, widget uh, on the front end and after that here you can see uh, there's an icon to insert a widget you can double click that to insert a widget uh, within this uh, content container so uh, we've already added a product carousel widget so I'll just uh, make sure to open that up so I'll just make a double click on that so after I've double click this uh, product carousel widget uh, and the page uh, will appear on the screen and here under the widget section you just need to select the fancy product carousel widget so for that you'll just uh, click on the drop down and select the fancy product carousel so after you have successfully installed this uh, extension in the first place only after that when you uh, uh, go to add this widget uh, uh, to a page of your website uh, you need to add a uh, widget first and after that you need to select the widget type as the fancy product carousel product type so we'll select that after that under the widget options you need to set the product IDs that are separated by commas so uh, whichever products you want to display in the product carousel so uh, their product IDs are to be added here so you need to add those product IDs here that are separated using the comma alright after that you will set the product carousel box width uh, so uh, it's the width of the box that's containing all the carousel images you will set the width for that after that you will set the background color for the same you can even enter black blue or you can uh, use these codes to enter the uh, color uh, for the background of the of the uh, product carousel box after that you will set the image width so this would be the image width and the height for the product carousel images so you can alter them as per your need and uh, after you have uh, configured this uh, widget uh, for your uh, web page you just need to click the insert button and after that you'll save the page 
and that's it so uh, so after you saved your page uh, let's uh, do one thing let's go ahead and let's see how this product carousel uh, widget would appear on the front end for that we need to go to the front end so now on the front end uh, as uh, we had uh, selected the page uh, uh, product carousel widget demo we had set, uh, set it so we had set it up on the product carousel widget demo and uh, we had set the content heading as product carousel widget demo and uh, we added a number of products uh, to the carousel there so here you can see a very nice and elegant uh, product carousel widget can be seen and each of the images of this product carousel are clickable this means that you can make a click on this uh, carousel image and this will directly take you to the product page uh, uh, to the actual product page you can also see the price of the uh, products here you have a left and right uh, uh, marker here uh, to uh, check the different uh, product carousel images that are present here and uh, so let's try and uh, let's uh, check uh, this product here and let's try and click here let's see if it takes us to the exact uh, product page so right uh, there we are we are on the product page of uh, of the product of the actual product there so uh, that was all about this uh, magenta 2 product carousel widget uh, uh, we've seen that the admin has easily uh, added uh, this uh, product carousel uh, widget uh, from the admin backend by going to the section uh, to the content and then to the pages section there the admin has uh, uh, added a new page uh, or he can uh, edit an old page and then try and add a widget to it after that you need to select the widget type as uh, the fancy uh, fancy widget product type uh, yeah and uh, after that you will set the uh, content heading and uh, or, and after saving all the settings there uh, you'll be able to see the product carousal at the uh, at the front end uh, so uh, that was all about this extension i uh, hope uh, it uh, helped you uh, if you have any other queries or suggestions regarding this extension uh, you can always get back to us at uh, support at the rate of webcool dot com or you can also raise a ticket at uh, support at the rate of webpool dot com thanks for watching the video have a great day ahead